as with most of Mom's creations, the inspiration for the following collections came to her in a dream. Dreaming all nights of lemons and limes and grapefruits, she woke up early to start building a lemon and citrus line of serveware and home decor for Blue Sky Clayworks. Don't be fooled though, creating this line didn't come without its shenanigans. Once she got building some of the first pieces, she decided that an impromptu road trip up to the Vancouver Island Pottery Supply was in order for some new glazes. Little did she know that she'd have to rummage through some trees to find her paints. Hi! Hi guys. What kind of uh, five o'clock mission did we just get up to? So, is it Friday? Yes. Friday afternoon <laughs> at 4.30. Um, I pick up this one because she needs out. She's been with the baby all day. And where are we going? We Ah, oh, 15 minutes away to pick up some paint hidden in the trees. That's where they hide the stuff when you don't make it before closing. They hide it in the cedar shrubs. So then you have to figure out which cedar shrub it's hidden under. We found the one with our name on it. And then guess what? You get to see the sheepies across from the pottery place, right? See that one there with the little black head? Yes. That's Marv. <laughs> There's probably going to be a new sheep line coming up now, isn't there? It's going to be called the Marv line. You saw it here first. Yes. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mom. How's it going? It's excellent. How are you? Good. It's a beautiful day out today. It's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. It's hot, hot. For <laughs> us, it's hot, hot. Not for the rest of you people, but for us, it's hot. <laughs> um, I spotted something bright and shiny in the studio today. Right? Was it this little bright and yes, shiny? Yes, this is my baby. This is Bowden, right? Yes. This was my little ray of sunshine this morning. So look at, he's wearing lemons. He's yes. wearing lemons for the season. He's oh, so trendy. God. Yeah, right? So he's four months old and he's the light of our life. And if you pan over, darling girl, look who's, look who's napping in the corner over there. <laughs> right? This is how you do modern motherhood. Caught in the act. Caught in the act, yeah. You're nap bending grandma's studio. <laughs> so good, so good. And there's Rosie, she's watching over there. So, yeah, so, so we wanted to just sort of bring you over to our, our little segment, our little brushstroke segment today. And um, we want to catch you up on what we're working on. And um, we sort of gave you a little hint there. Um, citrus. Citrus is the next big thing. Um, it's going to be uh, a really wonderful, uh, bright pop of color for kitchens and, and for living. Um, but definitely kitchens and... Um, where you want it to have that bright pop of color. And you know, lemons and grapefruit, limes, um, oranges, uh, those are sort of the four basics that we're really pulling from right now. And you're gonna see it in all sorts of ways. It's gonna be very sophisticated, and it's also gonna be very loosey-goosey, and it just looks like it's just been drawn up. But the one thing it has in common, depending on whatever uh, style you're looking at, it's pop of color, right? We all need some of that these days. Right, and, and so I think that that's the fun. It, and, and whoever the style gurus are that pull out all these ideas, um, they're sort of saying, let's do it, let's celebrate. And I think summer, 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 we're needing summer. And that's where we're going to with our designs right now. So um, I've been having some fun in the studio and I started with um, some baby little pieces. And this is a tiny like little I don't know, let me call it like it could be a creamer, yep. it could be a tiny little syrup jar for, mm. you know, a little bit of pancakes. Um, also just a great little bud vase or yep. something too. I'm loving this. So we've been potting uh, a lot of the base uh, shapes here, um, which is just such a great way to uh, combine hand building with um, potted shapes and then you can just keep building greater, bigger. But sometimes it's nice to have something that's very um, symmetrical with something that's not symmetrical and it gives your eye a really nice um, balance. Yeah, a balance of, of sort of design and, and that little bit. And um, we have taken that idea right here. So I started off with these little, um, these are actually going to be uh, vases, little bud vases for your kitchen. Um, and I'm thinking uh, my husband and my uh, brother, they're going to put this into a piece of wood and cut out the circles for where the necks are so that'll be enveloped into a piece of wood, um, all four of them. And then they'll be suspended. You know how you would hang uh, like macrame things in your yep. kitchen, all this is all back. 
but mac it hang with the same sort of, sort of same um, cording. Mm -hmm. And then you've got these four little sweet vases. And the other option is to also put a little backing, uh, like a little hook on them. And then you could have four just hanging on your walls or down a pillar in your uh, kitchen or something. Too. I'm excited. It's a bit of a new twist on the old herb gardens that were so popular in the kitchen, right? And, and this whole indoor gardening, you know, we started off with the cactuses and then um, the succulents and all of these things that have been so big. And, and they're still such a big part of our lives. But we're always looking for new ways of, um, of displaying them. My favorite, favorite uh, indoor plant right now is that one called String of Pearls. Oh, yes. It looks like little peas all attached together, and it just drapes. And that would be one of my choices for these guys. I think the color would offset against the citrus colors really well. And then the roundness, of course, against the big roundness of the shapes. Perfect. And one, one great thing from as a gardener about mm -hmm. these is that because they are glazed, mm -hmm. um, nothing will, no watery dirt or anything will come through. No. They no. are glazed, so they are solid and waterproof. Right. And so the, someone had suggested if you really wanted to grow plants in them, put a little tiny piece of a, um, a grid, like a plastic grid in the bottom of them, and then you don't have the roots saturated in the water. Yep. Even a few rocks. Rocks. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. There's there a big enough opening there that you can do that. Um, so that was our very first um, little uh, citrus attempt here. So we've potted, and then I've got the hand building here. Um, and then we went on to um, the mug where that's been a potted orange shape and then I've just added, I love, love, love blossoms for um, the citrus pieces. Um, they just add that one extra pop of color, that little extra detail. Because they're so simple, they can take that little extra flower without making them look too, too busy. It's a really beautiful shape. Yeah, and I think it'll be a comfortable shape in the hand. I've, I've kind of stylized um, all the pieces in this line to sort of be a down handle. Um, but for a, a holding piece uh, or holding handle, it's very comfortable and it's yeah. a nice pouring handle. So that works really nicely. And then this piece is a handmade um, one that I made yesterday. It's, it's a slab piece um, and a lot of uh, three-dimensional building on it. Um, it's outstanding. I'm very, very happy with it. So the finish on this I see is I feel like this wants to be a very sophisticated like satin white kind of a glaze on here and then the pops of color and this is all lemons on this piece and let them pop and they might be a, a shiny glaze but this will be a very sophisticated satin white mm -hmm. and then maybe with a really nice uh, green handle to bring us back to that situation. Add a little bit of neutral in there, but it still all works together as a collection. I think so. I, th I don't think every single piece is, wants to be screaming. I think it's nice to have these kinds of accents, but I think it has to be balanced uh, really nicely that you'd want to play that in the kitchen, but not go, that's just way too much. Right. Right. I think in the 70s, it was all color and it was just all mixed. And I think now people are going, that's nice to have a pop of it. We don't need to live entirely <laughs> in it. Right? I don't want to live in an orange factory. So. Absolutely. Right, right. So anyway, so that's where we are this week, and that's our little brush drawings. Hi, Grandma. Hi, darling. How are you? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing really, really well. What's up? 
What、uh, interesting technique are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I'm not quite sure whether this is anybody else's technique, but it's mine. <laughs> and we're glazing the inside of this gorgeous, gorgeous、uh, picture. Yep. And、uh, this is going. It's green so that we can see where it is. Okay. And then it will be absolutely clear and shiny. And the, and then when it goes into the kiln, it. Becomes glass. Okay. And so that's the glazing part. So they've got the underglaze on, which is the yellow, making、um, everything pretty. And then this is the overtop thing. And when it comes out, you're just mesmerized by what it happens. Dazzled. And how long have you been、um, glazing for mum? Approximately. How old, how old is your mother now? I mean, it just seems like thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it started out when she was three, and I gave her a piece of clay, which she rolled on my coffee table for years and years, and then it developed into this. So we go back a long way. Well, it's pretty wonderful. Generation, it generations here. Okay, everybody. Thanks for popping in. We will see you next time for our brush strokes feature, and、uh, definitely check us out on、uh, our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel as it arrives. Love you. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. <laughs>